Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our cars. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching this on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. That is hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current and recent inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times between our two stores. We never take them down, no matter if they were shot a, a week ago or five years ago. Uh, we leave them up at all times. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer available, and it drops into our sold category. <clears throat> this is kind of a cool car we have to present to you today. A 1983 Hearse Oldsmobile 15th Anniversary 442 car. Um, 307 motor. Um, I believe that it is the original motor to the car. Uh, it is definitely period correct. It does have a partial VIN on the motor. We can't get it off because you have to take uh, part of the front of the motor apart. And we're not going to do that, but I can almost assure you that that's the original motor for the car. It is a 1983-307. Um, power steering, power brakes, and air conditioning. So this has a little bit of everything. Really nice, um, clean, original vehicle. Uh, you got the uh, black with the red and the silver combination there, um, you know, around the, around the vehicle. We'll show you in the uh, interior here in just a little bit that uh, it is uh, burgundy on the inside, maroon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, BFG radials on the car. Got your red pinstriping going down the uh, whole body line of the car, top of the fender, and of course center of the door and top of the wheel wells. Really good look to the car. Um, dual set of chrome, um, dual set of mirrors painted the same color as the vehicle. Um, chrome around the front windshield and around the uh, windows is in great shape. The, the, the entire car is in really good shape. Um, Hearst Olds 15th anniversary designation there on the front door, driver's side. Door gaps are good on, on the car on both sides. Um, these cars, you know, these Buicks and Oldsmobiles, they've had these, this, this body style, have had these long doors and uh, these open and close with ease, you know, heavy, heavy doors, long doors. They're not sagging or anything. The hinges are nice on them. Looking in the interior, you can see your lightning rod shifter. <coughs> kind of a cool feature. Um, obviously two uh, front bucket seats, center console, all the automatic car, um, all the interior in the car is really nice um, from the seats to the floor mats to the carpeting underneath, steering wheel, dash pad, headliner, everything's in good condition. Put the uh, driver's seat forward Look at that rear seat. Doesn't look like anybody's even sat in it. Check this out, right? Remember ashtrays on the back of uh, seats? Uh, weather stripping on the car is in good shape all the way around. Driver's side door, uh, armrest, uh, material on the door panel, uh, top and bottom, all in good condition. Body lines on the car are fantastic. Um, if I had to guess, I would say this car is definitely all original sheet metal. Of course, you have your uh, rear spoiler on the deck lid on top there. Uh, deck lid fitment to the rear quarters is nice on both sides, driver and passenger side. Uh, Hearst Olds 15th anniversary there again on the uh, passenger side uh, corner of the deck lid. Pop the trunk, take a look in there. Do have a car cover with the vehicle. Uh, you do have a donut spare. There is a trunk mat. And, you know, again, the trunks, all original trunk pan. Um, there is some uh, documentation on the car. Um, it was bought brand new in Lima, Ohio. Car cover will come with the car. Um, there is some uh, original Oldsmobile material. Um, I thought we had, there's some parts receipts, um, some titles for ownership history, 
I don't have any documentation as to, you know, is the motor rebuilt, um, you know, is the tranny rebuilt, anything like that. There are some miscellaneous receipts in here for some repairs over the years that have been done, tires and whatnot. Um, here we go. The original window sticker. 13,473. So that is kind of cool. It's always cool when you have the original window sticker for the car so you can see you know, where, where and when it was purchased new and what the options were and what the price was. So that's kind of cool right there to have that. And all that, of course, will come with the car. Again, um, I don't have any history. It, was the engine rebuilt? Was the tranny rebuilt? Um, I don't know if it's the original miles on the car. Um, the, uh, the title we have for the car is a Florida title. Uh, it does read exempt on the mileage. I checked it before our video presentation. Um, body lines down the passenger side of the car is, are the same as the driver's side. They're really, really nice. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm almost certain this car is all original sheet metal. Rear quarters are uh, fantastic. Passenger side door is fantastic. Front fender on the car is fantastic. Uh, paint on the roof. You know. Black cars have a tendency to show paint imperfections like no other, um, simply because it's so dark and if there's any cracks or spider webbing or um, faint scratches, it'll pick up in black and this car looks absolutely fantastic all the way around. <clears throat> Opening up the uh, passenger side door, you'll see much of the same um, as the driver's side. Door panels in fantastic condition, floor mats, glove compartment, passenger side captain's chair, all of it real nice in the car. We'll take a closer look at the interior when we're actually doing the test drive. And again, door shuts real nice. Check out your door gaps, they're uniform, uh, both to the rear quarter and to the front fender. Everything lines up, everything's uh, nice on the vehicle. I didn't see anything in the paint that I can even show you that would be a an issue whatsoever. Um, I'm not sure if this car was a repaint. If this uh, paint on the car is original, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, very, very well cared for. Um, you know, maybe portions of the car could have been repainted. Again, I don't have the history to be able to know one way or the other. Um, obviously, we know it's the original color um, combination that was offered on the car, the original, you know, package, but um, absolutely uh, pristine um, 1983 Olds 442. Um, fantastic, fantastic condition. Let's take it out and throw it on the rack and check out what the undercarriage of this car looks like. Underneath our 83 Hearst holes. Disc brakes up front here. We can look past the uh, cross member at the front of the oil pan. You can see that the uh, nothing out of the front seal, uh, nothing on the front of the oil pan. And Back of the oil pan's kind of tighter. Uh, starter's dry, bottom of the oil pan's dry. You got dual headers. Um, tranny pan, you see big tranny pan there. That's all dry. Um, frame rails on the car look good, both sides, driver's side and passenger side. Uh, nothing leaking out of the speedo cable. I don't know if you can see the tail shaft seal up there with the cross member in the way, but there's nothing coming out of there either. Floor pans on the car original. Dual mufflers. Drum brakes in the rear. Take a look up there where you can see the uh, Rear end pumpkin would sit when the car's on the ground. Nice and solid up there. It'd be your trunk pan area uh, behind the back seat. Uh, this is where a spare tire would be in the trunk. Drop downs on both sides are good. Rear frame rails are good on both sides. Nice and solid there. Great looking car underneath here. Um, so I say it in every video, I encourage um, anybody buying a car from us to come in person. These are old cars. 
if this is your first classic car, um, definitely try, try to make it to our Daytona showroom. Um, these are not the vehicles we're used to today being, you know, 2021. Um, they are not precision engineered like cars today. Uh, and they're obviously old, whether it's this old or anything that you might be looking at. Um, I deal in these cars every day, so I know what to expect out of them. You know, oil pan gasket leaks, tranny pan gasket leaks. I show you areas like the speedo cable and the tail shaft seal on the transmission because those are common problems on these cars where they have a tendency to leak. When I was a kid, my father had muscle cars and old cars, and uh, you know, we'd always have a piece of cardboard in the garage underneath the car, and I always just thought it's because you know, the car was junk, <laughs> but it's because, you know, old muscle cars, they, they leak, you know, they're going to leak. Um, you know, we stand under here, we do these videos, we go through our cars, make sure the valve pan covers aren't leaking, oil pan gaskets aren't leaking, um, things of that nature. But um, you're never going to seal them up completely 100%, 365 days a year. It's just it's the nature of owning a classic car, owning a muscle car. So we would be happy to uh, have you at our Daytona Beach showroom, show you our inventory, our entire business operation, show you any car that you might be looking at, whether it's this one or any other one that we have in our showroom. We'll let you take it outside, throw it on the lift. You can check it out underneath just like I'm doing. You can drive it. We'll put it out in the sunshine for you. You can take a good look at the paint. You can pop the trunk, pop the hood, look at the motor. Um, we'll let you do it all. I don't care if you look at the car for four hours. You're more than welcome to. That's what we're here for. With that being said, we do 90% of our business sight unseen. We shoot a lot of these videos, we shoot a lot of photos, we spend a lot of money on our camera technology to be able to show you the highest resolution photographs that you possibly can. You can blow all the photos up on our website real nice and big and take a look at them. Um, you know, we do a lot of sight unseen business and we make a lot of people very happy and we have a pretty good reputation for doing so. Financing is available on these cars if you are not a cash buyer and if you need financing. Collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10 year loan, 10% down minimum, and then the remaining balance over a five to 10 year period, depending on what you get approved for. Your approval is gonna be based on your credit score, debt to income ratio, things of that nature. Um, I don't make that call, the lenders do. So um, if you fill out an application on our website, the lender will contact you directly with your approval. If you like what you hear, you can give me a call and um, we can put a deposit on the car to secure it while your financing is getting in order. Put this 83 Olds down on the ground and take it out and do the fun part, which is drive it. Okay, inside of our uh, Hersoles Cutlass. I believe I said earlier in the presentation it was a 442. It's not a 442, so if I did say that, I apologize. It's not a 442, it's just Hersoles. So, um, wipers. Horn. <laughs> Um, 38,233 is what's on the odometer. Um, I believe that to be correct mileage. However, I can't prove it. It's not on a title. The title says exempt. But if you look at the interior on the car, um, earlier, as I was saying, the, um, the sheet metal, you know, it's just, it certainly looks like an original 38,000 mile car to me, but I have no documentation to prove that. Um, turn signals. Driver's side, passenger side. I don't know if you guys can see that with the sun glare. Temp, oil, fuel, and battery, all functioning. Let's check out the uh, stereo. Oh, we have. Have you the primary mirror? So the uh, radio works. The AC, it does work. Um, it's blowing cold. It's not blowing as cold as it probably should be. So um, we're going to have to charge that. I'm going to turn that off and we're going to crank the windows down. But the AC is functioning and blowing cold. But, you know, in PA this may be cold enough, but in Florida it's definitely not cold enough. So um, we'll crank the windows down for our test drive. Earlier I told you in the showroom, the dash pad, steering wheel, center console, carpeting, all in fantastic, fantastic shape. Really, really nice, well cared for car. Uh, time capsule piece of history here. Um, I, the RPM is functioning, but um, I think it's off because we are not idling at 2000 RPM right now. So. 
it may just need driven, you know. The car, uh, I know, hasn't been driven in a couple months, so let's do that now. Let's take it out and see how it runs. In my opinion, Buicks and Oldsmobiles always ran much smoother um, than the Chevrolets, and this car rides absolutely fantastic. Uh, the response in the steering wheel is awesome. Uh, there's zero vibrations in the car whatsoever. It rides like a brand new car, sounds like a brand new car. There are no, um, I mean, you let go of the wheel, tracks nice and straight down the road. Um, no vibrations in the uh, tires, floor pans, steering wheel, seat, nothing. Really, really nice ride to the car. The speedometer is reading and reading accurately. Like I said, the RPM is definitely not functioning correctly. Um, just, it's just not. So, not sure what the deal is. I've never seen that before, but. Braking, uh, there's no pulsation in the brakes whatsoever. The car brakes just like it should. Doesn't pull the wheel to one way or the other. You know, the 307 is not a hot shot motor. We'll step on it a little bit here just to uh, show you how to run it through the gears. But the uh, tranny shifts nice and clean, crisp. Um, no skipping, no sputtering. You do have the manual shift option as well. Um, if I can get to a traffic light situation, I'll show you guys how you can do that uh, with the lightning rod shifters. But uh, Wow, really nice car. Um, with as many cars as we sell per month and per year, uh, you get a car like this uh, from time to time. And what I mean by a car like this is original interior, original paint, original um, sheet metal. You know, it's, it's well preserved, unmolested, uh, fantastic car. And, and the car's got a great look to it as well. You know, with the black and the silver and the, the spoiler and the cool mag wheels. And it's just a really nice looking car. I'm sure we will get a lot of phone calls on this vehicle. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. Today we're going to put up close to 100 photos of this vehicle. And we're also going to put up this video presentation you're watching right now. At full retail price, this car includes... A 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty and shipping in the lower 48 United States. The price of the car is negotiable. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. And then uh, as far as the shipping is concerned, you're going to pay it directly to the driver when they arrive with the car. Um, or you can come pick it up with your own trailer. Or if you're local to us here in Florida, certainly uh, come on and drive it home. Hangsters.com, Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach. We'd love to earn your business. Before we go, we're at a light. We're going to drop the lightning rod shifters into drive. We're gonna pull back on the uh, number two first, and then on the number one. Now we're ready to shift. And as soon as the light turns green, um, shifting out of first, boom, out of second, boom. And then um, that's pretty much it. So, you know, just a cool little, uh, setup that uh, Hearst had um, with these cars so we're about to turn green here so we'll show you how to shift real quick and then we'll uh, fade to black speedometer is 65 no problem whatsoever car functions just like it should really nice car Okay, tax functioning like it should now, so maybe it's just with the lightning rod shifters. So we're gonna watch the tack here. Three thousand thirty-five hundred shift drops back down. Fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five. 70. We got Mr. Cadillac in front of us, so we're gonna turn it off there, but car as smooth as can be at 70 miles an hour for 1983.
I mean, look, we're still at 45 miles per hour, no hands on the wheel, steering wheel's not shaking. Really nice, tight 1983 car.